we are given a flywheel with initial angular velocity omega naught and then it decelerates due to forces whose moment is proportional to square root of angular velocity so moment is torque so the decelerating torque is proportional to angular velocity find the mean angular velocity of the flywheel so it's given torque is proportional to minus root omega why minus because it is decelerating we need to find the mean angular velocity so we need to calculate the total angle turned and then we need to divide that by total time taken so that will be our that's how we'll arrive at answer so we need uh, theta and we need time for the whole until the disk stops so torque we know is i alpha and alpha can be written in two ways one is omega d omega by d theta and one is d omega by dt so as discussed for because we need to find the mean angular velocity we need both theta and time so we'll write that alpha in both the forms so one will be omega d omega by d theta and another will be d omega by dt so this will give a relation between omega and theta this will give a relation between omega and time so we solve both of them and we get the total angle turned by the disk and total time taken for the same we just divide both of them and get our answer all right